Welcome to the fifth annual Small Business Awards. Um, I'm here at BEDC. Now we guys got some good internet, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you're looking a little um, unclear, that means you got the um, you're just sharing your neighbor's internet. So maybe get closer to the house and you'll be all right. But what we got here, we got uh, David Burke. He's gonna do his little opening re opening remarks. Good day, Bermuda. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the official start of Global Entrepreneurship Week 2021. Global Entrepreneurship Week is the world's largest celebration of innovators and job creators who bring ideas to life, drive economic growth, and enhance human welfare. This year, over 180 countries worldwide will participate and 40,000 partner organizations will plan more than 70,000 activities that directly engage millions of people. Bermuda is proud to have been involved in this international celebration of entrepreneurs since it began in 2008. The Bermuda Economic Development Corporation works in partnership with the Economic Development Department and the Youth Entrepreneurship Initiative of Bermuda to coordinate events and activities that celebrate the entrepreneurial spirit of Bermudians. Every year, the host committee works tirelessly to create opportunities for our local community to get engaged, inspired, and connect through entrepreneurship. As a testament to their efforts, the Bermuda Host Committee has been awarded the Champion Catalyzer Award at the Global Entrepreneurship Congress for several years in a row. Global Entrepreneurship Week 2021 is shaping up to be an exciting series of events that includes several activities and local challenges designed to encourage entrepreneurs to think innovatively. The fifth annual BDC Business Awards will celebrate the island's most innovative entrepreneurs and the resilience they have shown to overcome challenges and even thrive despite the COVID-19 pandemic. The 13th annual Rocket Pitch Competition will again provide over $49,000 in startup capital to the next generation of entrepreneurs. The Women's Entrepreneurship Conference will focus on the perseverance of the entrepreneurial spirit and highlight women's contribution to technology. Rounding out the activities, Tech Awards will celebrate Bermuda's best in technology and innovation. Entrepreneurship is considered a tool of economic empowerment throughout the world. In Bermuda, we can see the evidence in the development of new businesses and new job creation. The government will continue to support entrepreneurship and the development of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Bermuda to assist in our economic recovery and to help us build a better future for all Bermudians. Global Entrepreneurship Week celebrations are just one way in which we are committed to doing this. I encourage anyone considering entrepreneurship to participate in all the informative events scheduled during November. I thank the BDC, the host committee, the sponsors and partners for supporting Bermuda's local entrepreneurial ecosystem by participating in and promoting Global Entrepreneurship Week on our island. Thank you. And welcome back, welcome back. Um, this is different, you know, just being here on this virtual thing. I'm, I'm, I was, when, when they had told me that it was going to be virtual, I didn't think it was going to be this virtual. I thought it was going to be in front of people. So it's kind of crazy because I can't interact with you guys, but I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, we got this next video coming. What's up, everyone? I'm Kian Dickinson, host of the virtual BEDC Business Awards. We actually had the whole ceremony, but it wouldn't be complete if we didn't have the opportunity to actually give the awards to the businesses and hear just how excited, unexpected, 
Um, you know, super grateful they are to receive these awards. This year was obviously a very challenging year, but the show must go on. So without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 BEDC Business Award winners. Hi, I'm Amani of Amani's Cookie Company. I would like to thank the people who support me and everyone who buys my cookies. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Kimberly Lawrence and I am the owner of Zen Crystals BDA. At Zen Crystals BDA, we believe in bringing in the tools that you need to assist on your spiritual journey, including crystals. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank BDC for providing this award. Um, but thank mostly to the community and my friends and family that believed in me so much that they actually voted me in and I've won the People's Choice Award. For those people that are interested in starting a business, I would encourage you to do so. It doesn't matter if someone else is already doing it. Put your own flavor into it because what is for you is for you. Thank you again. My name is Katherine Fisher. My business has got you covered. And we have a business that fabricates textiles. We do everything from awnings to fabric hurricane to shade solutions. Um, we do various uh, boats, cars, and bike seats and we are in the economic empowerment zone. Um, I'd like to thank for these awards, first of all my team, including my contractors, and I would like to thank my mentors, um, specifically Mariko Thomas, who encouraged me to switch gears and manufacture washable PPE, and for that we won the COVID award. Um, I'd also like to thank the BEDC, my journey with them started back in the late 2000s and it's been quite the ride. My name is David Augustus for Augustus Film Home. I want to thank the BEDC for this award and there's also that supported Augustus Film Home for this award also. Thank you. My name is Sabriana Wilkinson and I'm the owner of Natural Age BDA. We provide lactation goods for breastfeeding mothers. First of all, I would like to thank the BDC for this award, as well as my customers. Guys, I would not be able to do it without you and putting all my hard work and dedication into this, as well as my family, because you guys are my backbone. My name is Dwayne Adams, the owner of Streaker Spin. It's indoor cycle class. We are thankful to BDC for um, having these awards and recognizing businesses in Bermuda. Just a little bit about spinning. Um, spinning is indoor cycling. Uh, where we just come together, now we're six to eight feet apart, uh, and ride to music, um, all types of genres, and we keep it going and make it exciting. Um, there's not much excitement going on in the island, so we're looking forward to just kind of keeping on doing what we're doing. So thanks again, and we're grateful for the award. Good day. We are Kenton, Chelsea, and Inara Trot, and we are the owners of Luxury Cut Studio, a barber shop located at 51 Ridge Street in the city of Hamilton. We are grateful and humbled to come here today to receive such an award. And we would like to give thanks firstly to the Luxury Cuts team, because without them we would not be able to be here. And secondly, I would like to give great thanks to the BEDC for what they have done for such young entrepreneurs like ourselves and assisting us through such a difficult time. And we give thanks. Hi, my name is Kaleo. And my name is Kishé. And we are the owners of Top Coat Lounge, located in Southampton near Rainers Rebus Gas Station. We specialize in nails, hands, and feet, and we want to give a shout out to BEDC for giving us this award and show our appreciation to our family and our clients and anyone who's just been telling people all about us. Thank you. Hi, all. This is Wanika Saunders, the owner of Glam Pop. First of all, I want to say thank you to all my supporters and BEDC for this award. I greatly appreciate it, as I did not expect it. I just want to say thank you. I'm ever so grateful for this award. Thank you, everyone. Golden Initiative is a visual and performance art company providing opportunities for artists to showcase their gifts gifted to them by God through film and performance. Golden Initiative was created to give artists a reason to pursue their dreams in a place where they may feel overlooked and less valued with an environment surrounded by God. We are sure to establish a vision um, by faith, assuring that everyone views has light Wait, wait, sorry, that everyone's views 
have light at the end of their tunnel. <laughs> at the end of their tunnel. So this is going to be a performance by Godin Initiative. Light, light. Our shining armor that raises beneath the core of his creation. Energy, energy. Our rhythm with his blood trickling through our veins. Love, love. The rebirth of our life's energy, breathing and making the creation of life. Life, life. We are 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 love. We are love. Don't know who take my power. My power. My power. Don't know who take my power. My power. My power. They feel away. Oh wow. They feel away. Oh wow. Don't know who take my power. My power. My power. Don't know who take my power. My power. Always in the lead, who you wanna be? I'm who they wanna be. B E A U T Y E. Never seen so much rage from a queen. Rage from a queen, queen so strong, thought she was a machine. Girl, like your dreams, Sinclair regime. Turn to the max, can't forget vaccine. Refer to me as a goddess, I'm tired of being modest. 100 degrees the hottest. If we're being honest, ever need anybody? Black people win, they say we're being demonic. Angel in disguise, I hate I have to disguise it. Why you gotta despise it? Rich in the mind is why I'm making deposits. Carry all the power, it's time to realize it. Don't know who take my power. My power, my power, don't know who take my power, my power, my power. They feel the way, oh wow. They feel the way, oh wow. Don't know who take my power, my power, my power. Don't know who take my power, my power, my power. They feel the way, oh wow. They feel the way, oh wow. It's that rhythm, it's that lightning. This that burn, this ain't no burn. This that nappy, this that herb, this that kinfolk, this that skinfolk, this that war, this that bloodline on the front line, ready for war. Where you gonna run?
Um, so we're going to start this off with the new with the new start with the new start up of the year. Okay, um, opening after September 1st, 2019, innovative and creative business model, proven track record for growth, hired majority Bermudians uh, employees. So the names of the nominees are Card Your Yard, Dove and Butterfly, Leslie's Bermuda. And the winner is Leslie's Bermuda, the food cart located in the Victoria Park selling Bayesian waffles, bubble waffles, waffle baskets, and more. Now, I've been there before. And I'm, when I tell you it's wow, it's wow. So if you guys ain't going to check them out, you need to sort it out like this weekend. Yeah? On to the next one. We have the Entrepreneur of the Year. This in innovative products and services committed to developing of local Bermuda talent, social responsibilities. And the name of the nominees are 1616 Cocktails, Sargasso Seas, Scooter Mart. And the winner is 1616 16 Cocktails. 1616 16 sells premium rum swizzle through and hard work through hard work and research of companies now reserve now serve over 30 signature flavors combined of sizzle and i'm had that sizzle too that sizzle as well i ain't gonna lie that sizzle is real well on to vendor of the year operating at a vendor selling from a stall of places to place um Bermudians made or Bermudian inspired products services excellent customer service Quality merchandise packaging, social responsibilities. And the nominees are Jazzy's Treats, Limestone and Cedar, Nature's Gift and Nature's Gift Hair and Body. And the winner is Nature's Gift Hair and Body. Nature Gift Hair and Body start started operation on November 2nd, 2019, and was created to provide ultimate solutions for everything related to skin. Now, that's my boy. I get some stuff from him, too. Get my black soup. He's got a whole bunch of cocoa butters. Look, everything you want, he's got. All that natural stuff, yeah? Tino and the saxophonist. Tino the saxophonist and band. Uh, Tino Martinez with the keyboardist, Raymond George, guitarist Dino Rich Richol. Bass guitarist Tori Tacklin and drums Troy Washington Sr.
Welcome back. That was that was really nice. Uh, we have Dennis Carter and Andrea Rochester, the junior MSME officers, who will give an ov overview of the Think Like an Entrepreneur course and graduate list. Good night, everyone. My name is Andrea Rochester, and I co-facilitate with Dennis Carter BDC Stage One course, Think Like an Entrepreneur. 
This course runs for eight weeks and it focuses on the mindset of the entrepreneur. The curriculum for the course draws on eight fundamental concepts that can empower anyone to succeed. Students learn how to develop an entrepreneurial mindset, identify and evaluate entrepreneurial opportunities, establish goal, manage risk, and build a successful brand. The course is driven by the internationally recognized award-winning Ice House Entrepreneurship Program, and the course will provide a challenging learning experience. Each cohort gives me chills, as it is very rewarding to see people make an investment in themselves during this time. Since COVID, we have shifted to a virtual class, and with this change, we have seen an increase in participants. I thoroughly enjoy facilitating this course, as I'm sure I speak for Dennis as well. We want to say congratulations to all the graduates of this cohort, and we hope that you have gained some valuable knowledge. We hope that you embark on the next cycle of training at BDC, which would be the Entrepreneurship 101 course. We wish you much success with your business ventures, and we want you to know that we are always here to support you in any way that we can. Yes, and now we have the most enterprising young entrepreneur. Now, this, this, these people have to be in between the ages of 8 and 25. Uh, creative business idea, sound business model, demonstrates entrepreneurial potential necessary for long-term success, good customer service. Um, and the top three finalists in this category are Chef's Edge, Megan Otterbridge Designs, Nurture Lache. And the winner is Nurture Lache. Uh, business focus on supporting breastfeeding moms on their journey by providing delectable snacks for breastfeeding mothers using natural products designed to enhance breast milk. Now I'm at um, a couple of breast feeding um, cookies before because my wife, when she was pregnant, she used to have some of those cookies. They were pretty nice, but you know, they can't have too much of them because you get sick, you know? But congratulations to them. Next, we're going to have Miss Felicia Richards. Ricards. Ricards. Oh, oh, sorry, Ricards, sorry, Felicia Ricards. Felicia Ricards is a, is a leadership development strategist and performance coach. She works with corporate employees, biz, business owners, and athletes who are ready to um, actuate their next level of success. Her diverse experience across various industries include financial services, hospitality, and government has contributed to her board knowledge bank. She has leadership experience as a corporate vice president, board chairman, and deputy chairman. Felicia is a lifelong learn learner, having achievement having achieved masters of arts status in human resources development and business management. She is a certified career advanced coach, certified financial educated instructor, and accredited mediator. Uh, Felicia is a network uh, affiliate for Linkage Inc., a global leader in the field of leadership and organization development and un is an authorized and is authorized to deliver their change management and leadership development program and assessments. She is also on their di diversity and inclusive product advisory board. Over the past four years, she has facilitated programs and events for thousands of participants from around the world. More importantly, she is excited about supporting the growth and advancement of others. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Felicia, Ms. Ms. Felicia Ricards. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much to the host for introducing me. Uh, just just uh, drop a little emoji, just a, a clap or a thumbs up for the host. This is a very different format of event. And I want to make sure that we're supporting him um, in this unusual environment. So just show him some love. Uh, make sure that he knows that he's doing a, a wonderful job for us tonight. Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Felicia Ricards. It's my pleasure to be joining you this evening um, from London. Um, this virtual space is very unusual. 
fortunately for me, I've been working a lot in virtual events for about four years. So it's my honor today as past chairman of BDC to join you as we celebrate an amazing group of business owners. Now, virtual events are a little bit different because I can't really scan the room and look at you directly eye to eye, but I do see all of your photos kind of spread around my screen. So you're gonna see me actually look around the screen at you. I'm gonna pretend that you are actually sitting in front of me just to bring you along. Make sure if I say something that you agree with, that you agree with, that it resonates with you, just drop a little uh, message in the chat, support each other. We wanna be interactive. And um, that's the best way to get the most out of a virtual event. So to all of the dignitaries who might be present, the leadership of the BEC, the board, of course, the executive director, the amazing Andrea, congratulations to all of you, the entire team for inviting me. This is a little bit outside of the box, but what's amazing is that it is not the traditional Zoom format. So again, leadership, visionary, and this is really exciting for us to be able to gather in some way. And I hope for it, I'm looking forward to be able to see you all again soon. Now, before I begin, I just wanna make sure you just um, clap, um, give it a little, another emoji for the entire BDC team, make sure that they know that you are supportive of their efforts, and then I'll move on. Tonight's theme is shipwrecked after the storm. Now, what I think many of you don't know is that as a daughter of a Bermuda fisherman, I actually grew up and spent many, many years on and around the water, both for fishing and for pleasure. Now, I will tell you, I enjoyed the pleasure experiencing much more than the fishing because much of the fishing experiences I actually spent joining in the process of chumming up, if you know what I mean. And anybody who understands what I mean, just give me a little laugh and emoji. I don't want to go into any of the gory details, but just understand that it was not pleasant most of the time. Not really my idea of a great day out. But I'll come back to that in a, mi in, in a bit. Let me take you on a journey first. Everybody just clear your minds, visualize yourself being the captain of a ship. The weather's worse than you expected. You check all the charts, you thought you had sailing ahead of you. The waves are quickly building in size and your boat is struggling to fight against the angry swells. The crew is confused. They're all looking for your guidance. You freeze. You're paralyzed with fear as the vessel starts to fill with water. All hands are on deck. No time to speak. Just frantic shouts of terror. Nobody is composed anymore. Finally, it happens. You look up into the darkness, but instead of seeing stars, you see a wall of water. You capsize, you're drowning. Your lungs are struggling not to burst. Objects are smashing against you, or are those the bodies of your crew? Your brain is on fire. You're frantically searching and looking for the right response. How far were you from land? You have no idea. Thoughts are interrupted as your body slams against what a wall. Not sure. Is it the body of one of your other crewmates? Unsure. You're gasping for air. Again, pain. You realize it is a wall. You climb, you climb. Finally, you capsize, you gulp for air, you're spewing out the salt water, and then you realize you have just been caught in a storm and shipwrecked. Now, let's come back to where we finally find ourselves, where we find ourselves today. There's no doubt that over the past few years, there's been a challenge for most of us, myself included. Over that time, I've had the opportunity to speak from people from all across the globe, US, UK, 
African, African nations, everybody has had similar experiences. The despair stretches across the world. But now is the time to step up and bravely forge ahead. Business owners are very much the captains of their ship. But hang on, let's step back a bit first and tell you a little bit more about what happened before the shipwreck. You see, a good captain will not head out until all systems have been checked. Preparation, charts, weather, safety equipment, float plan, supplies. Are you fishing for a particular catch or are you just out on a pleasure journey? The fishing community will likely be heading out at the same time as you. They're gonna listen out over the radio. They're gonna make sure that you check on each other during the day. They're gonna celebrate your success with you and they might even share a beer or two with you over some fish tails at the end of the day. However, even with all this uncertainty looms, you can prepare as much as you can for what you can. I'm gonna repeat that again. You can prepare as much as you can for what you can. The rest, it falls to chance. And we call that risk. The rest falls to chance. We call that risk. So a good business owner will actually do exactly the same. A good business owner, um, what we've seen over the past year is that something, everything really has gone haywire. We haven't been able to meet with our customers. We haven't been able to open our stores. We haven't been able to our friends, but unfortunately the fallout's not over yet. So now is the time to figure out how we recover. So what now? The first thing you need to understand is, unfortunately, no one is coming to save you. No one is coming to save you. I know that sounds a little drastic, but let me, let me carry on. So what? If nobody is coming to save you, what do you do next? It's time to dig deep. Understand that being a business owner is not just about getting irritated at your boss and setting. It's not just about that. It's not just people in the office or on the job site that you didn't like. It's not just about that. It's about the highs and the lows, the wins and the losses, the silent panic attacks, the tears in the shower. It's also about the resilience that only we understand. Because I can tell you about the silent panic attacks and the tears in the shower. It's part and parcel of our journey. It's about the long haul, constantly learning, constantly planning, making difficult decisions. You are the visionaries that can bind us together and help push us through. You are the visionaries that can bind us together and help push us through. So I'm actually gonna pause for a minute of the questions that I use with some of my clients. So here's a time if you wanna pull out a notebook, uh, make a note in your phone. I'm going to walk you through a series of questions. And this is going to be kind of your homework. You didn't realize there'd be some homework, right? Um, here we go. Why are you in business? That one hurts a little bit. Why are you in business? Number two, where is your business plan? Remember, we're talking about after the shipwreck, right? This is what we're doing to get past what's happened over the past few years. Where's your business plan? If you have it, 
dust it off. I guarantee you it's probably changed. Number three, were you winging it all this time without a business plan? Hmm, were you winging it all this time without a business plan? Number four, what is your market? It might have changed. What's your market? Number five, why do they buy from you? Why do they buy from you? How do you communicate with them? I can tell you that even while I am in London, I can tell you everything that happens in Bermuda from a gossip perspective. How are you with your customers? How are you communicating to let them know that you have a new product, that you're available for them, that you understand that their experience might be a little different than it was? How are you reaching out to them to say that you can't wait to see them back? What do you need to change? That is a very difficult one. If you have had the same pair of beige shoes in your storefront for more than six months, you might need to switch it up a bit. Who are your allies? Who represents you in the community? What are your resources? Why do you operate as you do? needs to change and the final two questions have you invested in your business and when I say invested in your business I'm not just talking about going out and purchasing goods and services have you invested in learning more about how you can adapt your business the, this virtual world is so amazing because if you have a specialty product, there are people around the world that may be able to share their experiences. Instead of spending more time on uh, TV shows and catching up on soaps or the news even, take a break and find out who you may be able to connect with. And then finally, last but definitely not least, because have you invested in your personal growth? I can tell you that everybody, I'm looking around at the names and it's so exciting to see all of you. But if you have not seen me in one, two, three or four years, you have no idea who I am. I am not the same person. Have you invested in your personal growth so that you can grow and become more resilient? as a spouse, as a parent, as a business owner, as a participant in our community. So I'm hoping you see the trend. You see, after this shipwreck, nobody benefits by everybody running around like chickens with your head cut off. Nobody pointing, nobody benefits from blaming, nobody benefits from name calling. Nobody benefits from social media bullying. How we move ahead is collaboration, community support. Let me say that again. How we move ahead is by ingenuity, collaboration, community support. And most importantly, taking the time out to improve yourself so that you can play a part in the Bermuda that emerges from the shipwreck. So all together. My name is Felicia Ricards and it has been my privilege to share in this amazing event with you today. I'm looking forward to sitting at the table with you again soon. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Richcars. Okay, on to the next one. All right, so we have right now the Family Business of the Year. Um, the criteria for that is involvement of uh, three generations in business, in existence of at least three years, 
has majority of Bermudian employees, excellent customer service, social responsibility. Okay, so we have Birdie's Cafe, uh, DeGrasse Lunch Wagon, Sunset Transport, and Specialty Inn. The winner is Birdie's Cafe, the Graf Lunch Wagon, one of the one of Bermuda's longest standing lunch wagons, providing traditional local cuisine throughout generations. On to the next, we have Business of the Year. Now, the criteria for that is it has to be in existence of at least three years, examples of growth and sustainable abilities over time, staple in the community, excellent customer service as a majority of Armenian employees, social responsibilities. Um, the finalists are Da Vinci Dental, People's Pharmacy, White Horse Restaurant. And the winner is People's Pharmacy. People's is the premier healthcare facility in, in Bermuda by providing invaluable products and services to our community. Uh, the next performer is going to be Dakari Love, and he's going to be performing his song, Rise Up. I won't just survive, oh, you will see me thrive, can write my story, I'm beyond Archetype. I won't just conform No matter how you shake my core Cause my roots they run deep Oh, oh you have so little faith Don't doubt it, don't doubt it Victory is in my veins I know it, I know it now when I look up, she hate I'll fight it, I'll fight it I will transform When, when the fire's at my feet again And the vultures all start circling The whispering You're out of time, but still I this is no mistake, no accident When you think the final nail is it Think again Don't be surprised, I will still rise I must stay conscious Through the madness and chaos So I call my angels, they say, oh, you have so little faith, don't doubt it, don't doubt it, victory is in your veins, you know it, you know it, and you will not negotiate, just fight it, just fight it, and be transformed. Vultures all start circling The whispering You're out of time But still I rise This is no mistake, no accident When you think the final nail is in Think again Don't be surprised Kari Love, he's actually one of my favorite local artists. 
Um, oh, we see that uh, Tyrrell has said uh, the swizzle. He loves that mango swizzle. Well, you just want to shout out to everybody who um, was in the little gift bags, confections, uh, cookies, Armani's cookies, uh, Glam Pop, and the swizzle. And the name of the swizzle was Let's Get Swizzle. Let's Get Swizzle. Okay, on to the next. Thank you. Oh, and sorry, and Candy, where's Candy Cure? Candy Cure, sorry, Candy Cure was there as well. All right, so um, we have Kalina Otterbridge up next, data policy analyst and facilitator who will give an overview of the financial planning and costing using QuickBooks. Gonna load that one up for you guys. I hope you guys are really enjoying your snacks, enjoying the show. Good night, all. My name is Kalina Otterbridge, and I am the instructor for financial statements planning and costing using QuickBooks. This is an eight-week course that helps students learn the financial aspects of running a business so that they can start it and operate it the right way. We all know that the finances are very important in helping to know the numbers so that better business decisions can be made. During the first eight weeks, we go through the theory of costing and pricing and financial statements such as balance sheet, income statements, and cash flow statements. During the last eight weeks, we go through setting up a business in QuickBooks and how to navigate and also how to use QuickBooks. After the eight weeks is completed, you not only receive a new skill and knowledge, but you also receive QuickBooks desktop software. This year, for the first time, we offered students the chance to take the class without the software if they already have it, but may just need a refresher or have never used it before. This year, we had on our first cohort about 30 students and 20 students in our second cohort. I would like to say congratulations for all of you for sticking it out and completing the course and investing in yourself and your business. I enjoy teaching these classes because you get to meet some wonderful people and make those necessary connections. So congratulations again to all the students of my cohort as well as the other students of BDC and have a great evening. Thank you very much. And the next category is the EEZ Business of the Year. The criteria for this was the location within one of the established EEZ zones operates by a people's choice pool of all businesses located in the area. Okay. Uh, the second runner up will receive $100. Well, sorry, the second runner up will, will receive $100. The first runner up will receive $200. And the winner, $300. So for the St. George's EEZ Business of the Year, second runner up. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm speeding. I'm speeding real quick. Let me just, just kind of sort this out real quick. Uh, sorry, yeah, we guys are gonna put a video of what an EEZ is. Good evening, everybody. My name is Andrea Rochester. I am the Junior Micro Small Medium Enterprise Officer for BDC. And tonight we are here to discuss the EEZ Business of the Year, which is a new category that we've recently added to celebrate the EEZ businesses. So I'm sure by now you're probably wondering what is an economic empowerment zone. An economic empowerment zone is an area that has been designated in St. George's, Northeast Hamilton and Somerset to encourage economic activity. We have three economic empowerment zones in Bermuda. We have one in St. George's, one in Northeast Hamilton and one in Somerset. My name is Dante Hunt. I'm a micro, small, and medium enterprise officer at the wonderful BEDC. I am the Economic Empowerment Zone Officer for Northeast Hamilton. We also have Andrea that you just saw. She is the officer for Somerset. We also have Dennis Carter. Dennis is not with us today, tonight, uh, but he is the officer for St. George's. These are three amazing shopping experiences. 
we encourage you, take a look at these economic empowerment zones. Shop, have fun. There are so many things to do from retail to restaurants to services. Enjoy. And the St. George's EEZ business of the, of the year, second one up, Yo Cherry. First one up, White Horse Restaurant. And the winner is in relations to her immigration. For the, for the Northeast Hamilton EEZ business of the year, second runner up, Classic Kids. First runner up, Handy Laundry Mat. And the winner, Toxic Rose. Just gonna let him catch up a little bit, sorry. Um, for the Somerset EEZ Business of the Year, second runner up is the Island Shack. First runner up, Highlight Salon. And the winner is CN Hairloft. Uh, next, we will have Dante Hunt, MSME officer, who will be giving an overview of the Entrepreneurship 101 course and graduate list. Hello, my name is Dante Hunt, small and medium enterprise officer at the BEDC. I'm excited to tell you about Entrepreneurship 101, the eight-week course. Like all entrepreneur education opportunities at the BEDC, this course is absolutely amazing. It is geared for new entrepreneurs, as well as experienced entrepreneurs. This course focuses on the practical and the operational side of starting and running your business. So, what does this mean, you say? Well, let me tell you. You, the entrepreneur, will learn about some of the most important components of starting and running a business. This includes, but not limited to, the business plan, the all-important financials, which is the blueprint, roadmap, and guide for your business, marketing, human resources, government obligations, which naturally inc includes payroll tax, social insurance, health insurance, pension, as well as funding and financing your business. If you are an entrepreneur trying to start a new business or an experienced entrepreneur looking to scale up or add a new re revenue stream or start a new business, Entrepreneurship 101 is ideal for you. The next category is COVID Resilience Award. Now with the COVID uh, Resilience Award, the criteria for that was rehired staff during the pandemic, shifted business model as a result of COVID-19, excellent customer service. Now you know COVID was pretty serious, especially when you're talking about locked on and then you had your children and on um, remote learning, there was a whole lot of ignorance. But listen, we got the, um, got the names of your nominees right here. Lacquered, lacquered lounge, sargasso seas, and solstice. And the winner is sargasso seas. Bermuda's new on-demand marketplace where you can um, have food delivered to your locations until 2 a.m. Milkshakes, burgers, vegan foods, and a whole lot of and a whole growing list of amazing restaurants. Now, I've never used Sargasso before, but I always see them around. I feel like they've got a whole bunch of employees. I feel like they have, like 50% of Bermuda works for Sargasso delivering food. I ain't gonna lie. 50% of Bermuda works for Sargasso, but I see a whole bunch of people doing their thing. Now, one day I might, you know, try it out for a second, you know, but um, as of now, I have not yet. Um, the next is going to be the People's Choice Awards. Uh, with the People's Choice Awards, it has to be innovative product of service, good customer service, Bermudian employees, social responsibilities. Now, with the second runner up is Bermuda Cupcake Company with 120, sorry, with 1,236 votes, and they will be getting $100. The first one up is 
Is it Sainu? Okay. First runner up is Sainu with 2,228 votes. They get $300. And the winner is Zen Crystals Bermuda with a whopping 3,342 votes with a $500. Business focuses on providing healing crystals and stones. Now I've seen them on Instagram, but I, you know I, I never got anything. But you know I might have to check them out for some healing. Yeah. Um. Now we have the BEDC Client of the Year. Pay BEDC loan current with the BEDC loan of or has attended all BEDC courses. Proven track record for growth. The names of the nominees in this category are Diamonds Pool Service, Fresh Breath Dental, The Bridge Trading Post, and the winner is Fresh Breath Dental. Fresh Breath Dental is a general dental practice providing services to the entire family and, and, and is conveniently, conveniently located in the city of Hamilton. Uh, looks like we are on to the raffles. Now, oh, I got a little box right here. Do you want to help me out? All right, we got a little box right here. Press, oh, oh, hold on two seconds. Sorry, I'm dropping your raffles. I don't want no one to lose. All right. Uh, the first raffle is going for a bottle of swizzle from Let's Get Swizzled. And the winner is Antonet Webb. Congrats, Antonet Webb. I hope you get a lady off of this little bottle of swizzle. You can come and collect your prize. Oh, we'll, yeah, we'll sort it out. BEDC will contact you. We'll sort you out, yeah? Uh, the next raffle is a gift certificate to Soul Foods. Yeah? And this one goes to Stephen O'Neill. Congrats to Stephen O'Neill. Like I said, BEDC will contact you, sort you all out. All right, the next one is to, to a ticket to the Women in Entrepreneurship Day Conference. When is that? Next week, that's gonna be next week. And the winner of that is Kalisha Otterbridge. I'm seeing her in the chat come up a couple of times. Congrats to Kalisha. The fourth raffle is a fifty-dollar dollar. Oh, sorry, I sorry, a fifty-dollar Rubis Vulture. I know mean, everybody needs some gas, but they got to get around, right? And the winner is Tori Gonzalez. Congrats to Tori Gonzalez. Now we got here what a seventy-five Vulture, seventy seventy-five dollar Vulture to splash and dash. Detailing. Now you get your car all sorted out, clean, looking clean, clean, crispy, clean. What we got here? A key and bean. Key and bean, that's you. Your car's gonna be looking sparkly clean after this splash and dash wash detailing. I guess they do inside, outside. I don't know what you get for 75, but that's what you're getting. Unisex oil bouquet from Sense from Center Lots. And who we got here? Jaleesa hold it. Miss Classic Kids herself. Congrats to you. Congrats to you. Look. Next one is a hundred dollar Wahoo gift certificate. I got on Wahoo, got a little fish. You know, it's lobster season. If you like lobster, you can sort that out too. Megan Otterbridge is the winner of the hundred dollar gift so, uh, voucher or gift certificate for Wahoo. Congrats to you, Megan. And the last one is a, a stay for two at Grotto Bay. Yeah, it's a big one, ain't it? Grotto Bay. Got a little cage right there, close to the airport, so it feels like you're in foreign. Yeah? So this one is Keontae Glassford. 
Keontae Glassford won the Stay for Two at Grotto Bay. Congrats, baby girl. Keontae Glassford, that's all you. No. Next up, we got Mrs. Smith, BEDC Executive Director for the Closing Remarks. Mrs. Erica Smith. Good night, everyone. Uh, it has been an awesome evening. I am sure you can agree with that. Let's give a round of applause to all of the businesses, entrepreneurs, and inspiring would-be entrepreneurs who have been acknowledged tonight. You are awesome. I'll keep it brief as we are at the end of a very exciting night. We are truly excited to be celebrating Global Entrepreneurship Week with over 180 other countries around the world. Collaborating with 20,000 partners, engaging in 40,000 activities globally, all with the goal of removing barriers for entrepreneurs and welcoming all. Global Entrepreneurship Week's reach is substantial with entrepreneurs like each one of you impacting 10 million people worldwide. That is incredible. Please know that you do make a difference and you do have an impact. I wanna thank Dustin, Aquarius, and Travis, our partners in the US with the Remo platform that you guys are on tonight. I wanna thank you, Mr. Photogenic, for hosting this year's BDC Business Awards, the fifth to date. I know it wasn't easy with a virtual platform, but you did well and you kept us engaged and thank you for that. I wanna thank all of the amazing talent in Bermuda, the artistic, amazing talent. It was awesome. We are proud and I, and I just am so looking forward to what else we can do in the future with regard to Bermuda's talent. Thank you to our guest speaker and past BED chair, Mrs. Felicia Ricard for always sharing your wisdom and your vision. It's appreciated. I wanna thank the sponsors for supporting this event and, and also thank the vendors for the incredible Bermuda products that are in each of our swag bags. It is a testament to the quality of the products that Bermudians can create. And then I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to my BDC team and especially to Andrea, for the lead for this event and Richard for organizing this year's BDC Business Awards. We know it's not easy and you have done a fantastic job. And then of course, this awards would not be possible without each one of you, the entrepreneurs and the soon to be entrepreneurs for the incredible impact that you make in Bermuda. From providing products and services to customers, to managing staff and employees, to creatively managing finances, to make sure that you have enough to open just one more day, to persevering in face of all odds, you, the entrepreneur, are resilient. You are a risk taker. You are models to each and every one of us. You are awesome, know this. Entrepreneurship in and of itself is not for the faint of heart. But the last 20 months have been especially trying for entrepreneurs and business owners due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. And yet, in spite of it all, you have embraced an entrepreneurial mindset and a vision to run a business in what can be classified as an uncertain economic climate, probably the worst in many decades, in many centuries. So kudos to each and every one of you for taking every single day to come back and say, I'm gonna open my doors. I firmly believe that entrepreneurs are the solvers of our world's problems. And so there is a huge level of comfort seeing each and every one of you here tonight. From those of you who are running local businesses and to those who are taking courses with BADC to improve your entrepreneurial knowledge, as you prepare to start a business, you are our heroes because small businesses are the lifeblood of our economy and any economy. And we know that you make a difference, but as you know, it is not easy and it's not always gonna be easy. Um, Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube said once, really are opportunities presented to you in a perfect way. 
in a nice little box with a yellow bill on top. Opportunities, the good ones, the really, really good ones are messy. They're confusion, confusing and they're hard to recognize. They're risky, they challenge you. Every entrepreneur here tonight has seen an opportunity and taken advantage of it. They are everywhere. But the key is to embrace the entrepreneurial mindset so that you can see that these opportunities ex exist and that you can take advantage of them, even if they are messy, even if they are risky. Each one of you here tonight have acknowledged through these awards and you have grabbed these opportunities. And we are truly encouraged by what we have seen and heard tonight. I also wanna take the opportunity to acknowledge one person who has heavily invested in their own entrepreneurial education. This person has taken all three of BDC's multi-week courses throughout this year. That's a total of 24 weeks of class time in Think Like an Entrepreneur, Entrepreneurship 101, and Financial Planning with QuickBooks. So I just have a BDC, congratulations, see Michelle Souza, and for that, we'd like to give you an iPad and for this investment to use in your entrepreneurial dreams. Congratulations. And so as we close, no matter what, please know that BDC team is here to support you each and every step of your entrepreneurial journey. Together, we will continue to press on through this pandemic and beyond. I also wanna say that tonight is not the last of the GW events. Please join us for the Women's Entrepreneurship Day pre-conference brunch on Sunday, uh, that's tomorrow, and the Women's Entrepreneurship Day conference next week, Friday. And then we also have many events with our partners all throughout this month of November. So log on to GEW.BM. Join us all as we celebrate Bermuda's fantastic and fast growing entrepreneurial ecosystem. In closing, congratulations all. Thank you and have a good night. Okay, the show is not over though. You guys, I want you guys to stick around here. I'm got Michelle's IP right here. It's, it's right here for you, girl, Army. You'll be getting that soon. Chill out with that deal. But we've got a performance coming up and then after that, you guys can mingle. And like how we had it before the show, you can just stick around and jump from table to table, can give your congrats to everybody and just do your thing. Classic Kids, Grotto Bay Resort, Department of Economic Development, Bermuda Tourism Authority, and Horizon. Thank you for the sponsors. I'd like to thank uh, BEDC for having me here tonight. This has been a little different, but after a while, I guess I got a hang of it, you know? So we're gonna run that party not done. Again, let me talk about this again, because I said it before, but you know, it, it wasn't there yet. So Party Never Done was created to replicate the true life of someone who knows how to enjoy life all year round. It expresses the joy of community and how we can always turn nothing into something in the end. Summer may be over, but the party is never done. This video is sponsored by BGA and Pitt and Company uh, to promote their newest makeup line with Maybelline and their and their newest Coxware flavors. So shout out to Pitt and Company and BGA and let's get this party not never done on. You know.